And she's, help. A, she's obsessed with your foot. Yeah. What? If, it's just mud, dirt, spider webs. You are having a real issue. But thank you for cleaning off the bottom of my pants. Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's had a great, wonderful day, or having a great, wonderful day, however it's going for you. We've got chickens pecking at our feet. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of a ooky day today. It is, but I am not complaining. We need the rain. We, yeah, we, we need some really water. needed the rain. Our, our water catchment was getting, well. It was empty. Empty. <laughs> so, had an idea. Hoping it's gonna work. Well, you know, up here it seems to be working. I've got this problem normally with I can't pick up all the logs I need to with my tractor to put on my mill, or either just pick up heavy stuff anyway. We just have a subcompact, and and I'm a weakling. So I got an idea. Seems like it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. Take this old dolly hand truck, uh, whatever y'all. Everybody calls it. I call it. it a hand truck. He calls it a dolly. I call it a dolly. <laughs> Two-wheeler, uh, many things. This thing. This thing. Uh, it's an older one I've got. Uh, I thought about cutting it down. I'm not going to cut it down just in case the idea doesn't work. That way I can still use it. Uh, but, you know, these things, you know, I got it. Probably Harbor Freight or something cheap. Coupon. But it, it comes with those little air-up tires. And... My plan is to put those tires that are kind of like a solid tire. They're, I think, supposed to hold about 300 pounds. So I figure with both tires, that's 600 pounds, right? Isn't that how it works? Up here it does. I think it does. I think that's right. So I can move the logs without making, you know, ruts in the ground. And then also, you know, because I've got my little boom on my tractor to hook up to. They also, you know, when you when you go around corners and stuff, you know, they kind of roll and, and they go their own way. So I figure if I could get it to sit one end on wheels. So the logs will follow, follow instead of instead of shift over going. to go around a tight corner or something like that. Yeah. You know, that's the idea. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna just play around with doing this to see if it works. We'll see. So, I've got these little, <laughs> what? They're wet. Yeah, Rainwater in my coffee. Uh, <laughs> but this is, you know, kind of wide. About as wide as the tires normally come along that they're, you know, air up ones. Uh, it's supposed to hold, I believe, 300 pounds. It's a 10 inch tire. And it, it's it's a solid tire, but not, you know, like super, super hard. So I'm hoping that this is going to work just to replace these wheels and put these on. Your and hands are filthy. Well, I was climbing under a building this morning. So. He's been up early. Yeah. So I'll show you how. And it, they're really easy to take off and put on. So let's get to it. So I've kind of already played with it a little bit. Uh, this is a new pin, of course, but they're just these little pins in there that you just mush flat and just pull right back on out. Cotter pin, right? Cotter pin. And then an old crud tire comes off. And when you're doing this for dollies, of course, you know, it's going to be a, a flat side on one side and then this extended piece coming off the other side. See, flat side, extended side. And then it's just real easy. You just stick it back on a little spot there. Of course, they also normally come with a little washer that goes over the edge. Kind of holds the bearing there. And then you just put the pin and ride it back on in and just Give it a couple of little bins like that. That way the pin doesn't go back out and it stays where it needs to be. I'm a little worried with the plastic hub on these, but uh, I'm hoping that it's gonna still hold up. The idea seems like it will. Okay, so they look pretty. Ha! 
And I guess actually if we're out here in the country running around, they probably work pretty good. And I think about just using a regular old cheap strap that I can hook around the edge here on this frame and run it over to the other side and hook it. Log goes there, I can crank it on here, hook a chain or something up on this end to the boom on the tractor. Put the, you know, the log goes there and I can just drag it behind me like, you know, I don't know, like if I just put wheels underneath the end of the log so it could get around easy. Actually, you probably put it underneath this be pulling back the other way. Might work. Let's find out. Okay, so now the idea is, is put these on like this down so you can flip them back up and uh -huh. see if we can do uh -huh. something to manhandle this end up onto here. Which normally a lot of times I can probably just bring the tractor over here and get one end up and I could shove this underneath it. But let's see if we can just do it with a man hand. So if I put this like that, you get on that end. Flip up. I think you should strap it first. Yeah. We get right there. Strap it to the edge. And what's that tire look like? Look Looks okay? good. All right. Ta-da! All right, so now I've got this ratchet strap to the frame of this little dolly. In case it would slide, of course the thing is, is it's not gonna slide because I'll be pulling on that end, but it gives it like a little brace, I guess, on there. Just in case, I don't know. Mainly because I want to see if it all works before I start tearing it all apart. So now, off to the coyote! So, really test this out. I mean, my dolly's kind of wide. Gonna go down and around a little bit of an angle. We're gonna lean a little bit. We're gonna try it out. May have to have Shauna maybe have the can hook on it or something on this end to kind of hold it so it doesn't tip over. Let's see if it's not gonna do that. Shauna's nervous. That worked, I think, super great. It actually, even going down, I mean, that's a pretty good little angle over there where I was going at. The other thing, with the extra comments, obviously. Okay, anyway. The other thing that I just didn't even dawn on me until, ahead, until now, and I'm pretty sure all of y'all, it already came to y'all, but I'm sometimes a little slow. The nice thing about doing it this way, you know, keep the chain short so you don't have to worry about that log running into the back end of you, of course. But, there's wheels on the back. So if you get around a corner and you're like, oh no, I can't get anywhere. You can back up and push the log the way you want it to go. True. 
didn't think about that until I just had to do it when I first got on the tractor. I don't think y'all probably saw that, but I was like, oh yeah, I got wheels. I can back up. I needed to get around a spot. I was like, huh, worked perfect. That worked pretty good. And like I said, those are just those little Harbor Freight. It's got the plastic hub on them. They were, ah. Uh, um, you know, just trying it out. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it because I think they were about $15 a piece and they're probably on a coupon most likely. So, I mean, if you're if you're just playing around with needing to move some heavy logs, like, you know, a little subcompact here with some added forks to it, you know, it doesn't pick up a lot of the real heavy ones. Plus, you know, if you happen to go over a little bit of uneven ground too, you know, that weight really makes you kind of pucker up your your cheeks a little bit when you're going around things you know or if you have a wife sitting there with her hands over her eyes and just you know praying to God it scares me sometimes so for just an old do you know dolly two-wheeler worked out great one little strap around the edge with the hooks that hooked right onto it um, may have to bend your hooks out a little bit to get around the frame, depending on how thick the frame is. These little booms, they're not that expensive over, I got this over at Tractor Supply. So, and they're, they're, they weren't that expensive, easy to hook up. Okie doke, now, and that one made it really nice too, with the wheels, I could back up right along the edge of the mill because, you know, I overshot it. But, those wheels, they seem like they're holding up pretty sturdy and unstrap it you should just be able to tip it and roll it right on off that worked i think great all right Woohoo! i know they make a contraption that does this i'm not really sure on the price I may look that up for y'all too, maybe, and see see how much those things cost compared to, you know, I don't know, technically. I've had this for a while. I've had the straps. I think, like I said, the wheels cost me 30 bucks. So, try to look up. I know they make some little attachments that you can hook up to your ATVs and all that kind of stuff that puts wheels on them. Do a little pipe price comparison on rig up or the real thing so i think it worked great I, excellent thank y'all again for coming along today i super super appreciate it so to shauna y'all have a great and wonderful day i can't wait to see y'all till next time later